Hey y'all, decided to document my little adventure here. I'm gonna build a prop balancer. I got some scrap steel around here, some bearings and such. I use a belt grinder over here, ground off some of the rust off here to make my weld stick better. I got some scrap tube around here. Just some old stuff that I build junk out of. I got some good inch and a half heavy gauge. I'm gonna build this at least big enough to do a 48 inch prop. I may go a little bigger just in case I do something bigger. But I just wanted to kind of document it here for everyone, show you what I do. I'm gonna put my, put my cutter on here, cut off the square tube, and then uh, cut the other one to match, and then we'll be rock and roll. Found a whole sack of these little bearings for sale somewhere or another. I bought these things years ago, and I thought, you know, be some use for them, so. What are they? They are, uh, yeah, let me see the size on here. They're just small little bearings. All right, got everything milled off parallel and, and uh, perpendicular, so it's flat, it's square. Oh, that's good. These are milled exactly to the same length. So not that that's super important, but if you're going to build it, might as well build it right. That's the way I was taught. So it'll be right now. I'm going to clean up the edges with a little bit of paper and uh, be ready to weld. I'm machining off a couple of uh, couple little pieces I'm going to make for the bearing brackets. I guess that's what I'm going to call them. But uh, those will be on top of these when we're all said and done here. Just drilled my through holes for the bearing axles. Got both my pieces parallel, square, lined up. I measured the holes to get the bearings just as close together as I could without touching and also as close to the top edge as I could. That way there's room for the the uh, axle that's going to run through the propeller right there. Now, I may have to cut some out of the middle. I don't know. I'll, I'll cross that road when, when I get there, but uh, I'm just kind of playing this thing by ear. And uh, whenever, whenever I get it all welded up, I'll show you how I'm going to line these things up. I was cutting it pretty close, so I went ahead and milled a slot for the uh, axle clearance on the propeller there, and uh, just just made a little room, nothing important, but uh, you'd sure hate to kick your own self in the butt after the fact if you didn't go ahead and cut a little slot there. All it took was a couple minutes. All right, laid me down some good beads. Got a good sturdy weld on these things. They're not going anywhere. These things are linked together forever. Well. Until I cut them apart and build something else out of them. But now we're down to the best part. We're going to line up these two little brackets that I made and uh, get our balancer built right. Alright, so here's my trick for lining up the holes. I'm going to run these two rods through there. They're just, they're just free floating in there. They're nice and snug. This is the same material that I'm going to make the bearing axles out of. And uh, I'm going to tack those on there. And once I do that, I'll kick these rods out and the holes will be aligned then. And uh, then when I put the bearings on there, the bearings will be aligned with each other. And it'll give a good, accurate rotation. So that is my plan. And uh, I'm going to tack those on and I'll be right back. And now some work on the lathe. I'm going to uh, just skim cut it just to get it nice and uniform where it fits nice and smooth in those holes that I had it wedged in earlier. And I'm going to cut just enough right here that that bearing will slide on nice and snug. Alright, I made four of these little axles here. Bearings just slide on with a good snug fit. There's no wobble on them, but they do slide on and off. And uh, I, I thought about welding them into the into the unit over here but now that I'm thinking you go to welding something that's not a exact fit and, and these aren't an exact fit there is a little play between them but they sit nice and level I think I'm just gonna take some epoxy and epoxy these in there I mean there's not gonna be a lot of a lot of force you know trying to move these things out we're talking about a propeller spinning on bearings sitting on these but that epoxy will hold them in there nice and tight and keep them level and parallel with each other. So I'm not going to sweat that. I think I'm just going to epoxy those in there. And I'm also, now that I'm, now I'm looking at it, I'm going to put some levelers on the feet here. Just some screws that I can 
that I can level this thing just, just in case I put it on some ground that's not level. And basically I could use it anywhere. Just slap my level across the top, adjust the screws, get the bubble in the middle, and then I'm good to go ready to balance the propeller. It'll also help keep it stable because, you know, it, it, it does rock a little even though it's nice and heavy and solid, you know. I, if you're going to build it, build it right. That's what Papa used to say, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back with you then. Just tapping a hole here so I can run my bolts through there for my levelers. All right, I got my uh, got my little axle bearings epoxied in their holes there, so they're sitting nice and level. Got my uh, got my adjustment screws here. Got the thing leveled. It's it's nice and solid. It's it's not going to just rock on its own. You really got to push on it to knock it loose. Just a prop spinning right there is not going to be able to do that. So all I really got to do is uh, get my bearings sitting on there and then uh, build my mandrel to go through the, the center of the prop and rest on the bearings. And that's it. Fix the prop is all I got left to do after that. So there she blows my project for the evening. Uh, hope you like it. So here it is. Of course, this this isn't what I made. This is just something I picked up out of the shop floor to see if it would work. But uh, it uh, seems to be rolling good. The bearings are rolling. Prop takes a takes a gentle movement, even though this thing is severely out of balance. It uh, doesn't take much. Just breathing on it makes it makes it move. So I'm pleased with it. We'll uh we'll see how it balances a prop. Bearings lined up nicely. That was the reason for the for the cutout right there was so I wanted to do something with a smaller axle. I would have room there. If you can make that out. Now you can now you can put something with a smaller axle in there and do a small propeller if your heart desires. Or if my heart desires, since this is mine, hopefully I won't have to balance too, too many over my flying lifetime. But uh, that's what I got now.